In this video, we're going to be working through a residential MVHR design. So based on our zone ventilation, which is calculated as part of the heat loss room plan, based on either the building regs part F or SIPSI guides, this will give you a flow rate requirement for each room. This can either be due to a certain room type, the number of bedrooms in a property, or a meter squared area value. Once you have your zone ventilation, you can now go and do your MVHR design. So when we go to level two, which I actually have marked as a loft space, you can add your AHU by clicking on the drop down menu here, and I'm gonna go for an MVHR model. And I'm gonna set the direction using the arrows on my keyboard to put my exhaust and intake to that side of the building, which is the right side. If I go over to intake, I can use a main duct, draw that to go just outside the wall there, and then I can grab an intake vent and go for a square vertical vent to bring in air from just outside that wall. For my exhaust, I'm actually going to run that over this side of the roof and have it pop out vertically. I'm going to go for a circular horizontal vent so that'll be our intake coming on the side of the building and our exhaust is coming out the top of the roof for the supply and extract i'm going to move over to supply and i'm going to add a one to six manifold if we go into the settings into flow systems and into supply see that on the supply ventilation system we can set the different sizing parameters for our risers, mains, branches and connections. You can set the duct material type, maximum velocity parameter, the maximum pressure drop parameter, any spur capacity, the duct shape, any recommended sizes you want to use and a minimum duct diameter. For my branches and connections, because I'm using flexible duct, I'm going to set these as 75 mil minimum size, as I know this is a common practice in the UK. You can also add information for your fittings down in the menu here. You want to make sure that this information is reflected across all your systems. If I go to extract, I'm just going to make sure that this is reflecting what we've set in supply. However, if you want them to have differential settings, you can have that as well. From my MVHR unit to my manifold, I'm going to do a main duct. And then from the manifold, I'm going to do branches. First branch, I'm going to wrap around and go to this riser here. I'm going to connect to all these existing risers. If you hover over them, it'll make it easier to line them up. You can also draw multiple ducts at a time. Adding a riser is the exact same method you would use as doing a pipe system. If we go down to the ground floor, we can pick those up, go out to the centre of the room, grab a diffuser, place those symmetrical to each other. Double check your pipe type on this, make sure that they're, that they're branches, and do the same on level 2. On the bedrooms below, if you just want to have your diffuser show exactly off the riser, you just need to grab your diffuser, connect it to the riser like that, and then drag it over the top of it. If 
make sure to hit escape once you've left clicked and drawn it in drawn it in and then drag it over with the left click and hold go to the ground floor we draw one more branch felt and grab a diffuser and place it in the study be sure to check that your pipe height above the floor is correct for this instance i'm setting the connection duct to be above the ceiling on that room as the room height is set at 2.5 meters You can see that we, even though we have added our diffusers, we aren't meeting our supplied ventilation requirement. That's because we need to set the diffuser flow rate method. So if we click on each of the diffusers, holding control, we can change them all together. The method I'm going to choose is by room size. So this will distribute the amount of ventilation required for the property and split it by the rooms, by their individual sizes. For this to work properly, it needs to be done on all of the rooms. If I do this on all of the rooms, it will meet the requirements of the entire building. You can see that our supplied ventilation has turned green. Moving into extract on the bathroom, we just need to add a grill, similar to the way we've added diffusers on the others. We go to the ground floor, we can run our branch connection again, across the utility into the kitchen, where we can then add a diffuser of what might be an island. Or we can add a grill of what might be an island and then we simply need to add the room size again for each of the grills once we've set those rates we need to just go to level two and make sure that our mbhi unit is connected to our riser Now if we hit results, we'll get our duct sizing. See there, we've got flexible duct at 75 mil. And your system design is complete.